that they have to fund their retirement, their health care, and a 10-year window that's going to cover the next 75 years? No, I didn't know that. I said, what do you think about that? I said, if, can you come up with a business model that's been presented by any major corporation in America that is so concerned about survival and profit that they think it's such a good idea? Hey, what do you say we fund our health care and our retirement in a short window, put it on our workers, and we'll take care of ourselves, and we'll take care of people that aren't even born yet or even not even working for us yet. We'll take care of the next 75 years. Who the hell's come up with that model? be the Republicans. That would be the lame duck session of the Congress in 2006 before Nancy Pelosi got the gavel. They thought they'd stick it to labor one more time. See, they want to privatize everything. You have to give the Republicans credit. They do a good job of planning. They plan where they want to be five years from now. They plan where they want to be ten years from now. They do things in a generational effort. And that's maybe something that the Democrats haven't done very well since FDR. It was visionary, Social Security. Not one time in 77 years has the United States or the Social Security Administration ever defaulted on a check. In fact, they're running a surplus until the Congress started raiding it. Think about this. A group of people that has less than a 10% approval rating thinks they know what's good for the Postal Service, the Congress. <laughs> Where are the Democrats? Where are the Ted Kennedys of the world? Where's the march to save an institution in America that is all about jobs and families and small businesses? But instead, your enemies are FedEx and UPS who've got enough money